James Matt. And this is Xenoblade Chronicles, Definitive Edition. In the last episode, I um, got to the swamp. I can't remember exactly what the swamp is called. And I was uh, tasked with finding four particular items to allow me to unlock something. And I was a little bit under level to kill a certain elite boss. Honestly, uh, I didn't even need to do it. I didn't even need to kill him, I found out after having leveled up to do so. Um, I could just avoid him and he wouldn't aggro on me. So I put on about four levels for nothing. But there we go. <clears throat> also, as a side note, I now hate the Nopon. They are so annoying and like the quests they send you on. Oh, uh, go and kill 20 of these innocent bog creatures just so I can then use their skins as a bed. No, fuck you. But it's an RPG, so I guess I have to do it. So anyway, I collected the four things, and I'm now here at whatever this location is. High interior ruins. Let's see what happens. creature to kill. I mean, really, the Mechon might as well have just waited. We're all going to kill each other anyway. Let's stop this. Maybe that's why they hate us. Maybe they're killing us to save us from ourselves. Final form will turn into Freezer Mark III. Exactly. Or maybe not. Why did I get zero XP for that? This is a uh, this is a main story quest. Come on. Uh, close up on Charlotte's butt there. I did manage to get her some new leg wear, but you can still pretty much see her butt through it. That will continue to distract me. So uh, if I mention it, please just put it down to my perversion. Into it. broken for a while we'll have to find another way up another way you don't mean climb up there we may have to come on you can't be serious why'd someone build a lift that don't work no complaining let's start looking for a place <laughs> I don't think they built up. it broken but then he's not the brains of the operation He's the meat shield. Yeah, so it was pretty obvious we'd have to climb up because of all those arrows there. So, yeah, let's do that. Good thing these vines are here. We'd really be in trouble if not for those. Pauper's Cup. That would really, oh, that would really suck to be so poor you have to drink from a mushroom. So, seems to be telling me to go right, well I did nearly fall off then, but, ah, there we go. Is there anything hiding? There is something hiding. A rumble part. <laughs> the more items I collect, the more I'm convinced that those names are just random. 
It was the Happy Carnival that did it. I had my suspicions before then, but an item called a Happy Carnival? What the hell can that be? Mist tree? Oh, I can kind of see that, you know. Maybe maybe there was a small sapling growing out of here, but but equally, maybe not. Orb Daisy. Well, you can imagine that being a uh, actual thing. There are many, many types of Daisy. I'm sure at least one of them resembles an orb in some fashion. Oh, I'm glad that's the last one. Summit reached. Ryan, ready to go, Shulk? Yeah, but just hold on a minute. What is it, Shulk? It's about the Monado. I'd like to ask your permission to use it a little longer. He's not going to use it again. The Monado was your sword. But I need it to achieve my goal. Use it until your arm burns off like he did. <laughs> Don't sweat it. You are far more skillful at wielding that thing than I ever was. Keep it. It's yours. Besides, I have a new sword. That old coot had the decency to forge this for me. I owe it to him to make the most of it. Dunban. You fought your way this way. That's far. not the one he forged. I swapped it out. The they didn't see that coming, did they? Believe in yourself, Shulk. Believe in myself. Never lying down. Never giving up. That's our pride and strength as Hans. It's true. And I haven't seen him sleep once. Monsters know it. You're right. Time to move, people. We must have evolved this past the need for sleep. His vision isn't getting any closer. Well, I was able to cover up Sharla's ass, but her tits are still very much on display. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that scared me slightly. Hmm, fungus. I don't trust those pods. What is this place? It's giving me the creeps. Me too. Hmm. At a guess, I'd say we're inside the Bionis. Are those alveoli? What is it, Shulk? Oh, nothing. It's just that it feels like the Bionis isn't really dead. Ah. Wait a minute, Shulk. If the Bionis starts moving around, things won't look good for us. Let's just keep moving. Right. I don't want to say I called it. I kind of suspected maybe we'd end up bringing it back to life somehow. Or I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Of course, the pace the game's going, that is going to be in about a thousand hours of game time. What are those? Are they mobs? Hmm. Third lung. Those are alveoli. It's a perfect location for an ambush. Anyway. I wonder who's up there waiting for us. Yeah, that looks like some kind of boss level arena. What are you? Oh, it's a no pun. Oh, no. Yeah. Could have worked that out myself, thanks very much. Yeah, I really hate those things. As far as I'm concerned, they are the Jar Jar Binks is of, um, of Xenoblade. So, just wait here, yeah? So, Charlotte didn't make it. Oh, there she is. 
and she conveniently didn't take any damage from that. Hmm. Maybe Ryan had her in his pocket that whole time. Heading up the back passage. Up a trachea. We've gone a long way. We were at the crotch last time I uh, last time I checked. Crotch to trachea should take longer than five minutes. So is that a new um, face, Maconis, being assembled? Mekon, whatever it is, I don't know. Boobies. It's kind of like an Evangelion arrangement. It's a big one. Face Nemesis. Your frame is complete. All that remains is the soul transfer. That damage. Does a weapon exist that can melt face armor? How? Lady Venea, Master Ego wishes to see you. Understood. Tell him I will see him when this face is complete. Is she biological? Acknowledged. I have fulfilled my duty. Kind of looks it. Very sinewy. You and only you can bring about a new age on Maconis. No, the entire world. My mistress, Lady Maynard. Hmm. Well, maybe I ended the last episode a little bit hastily. I thought the chapter would be longer than that. Let's see what happens next. Somebody just learned a new skill. So I'm guessing we're heading towards the mech on head now. We just went through the um, the bowels and the respiratory system. Out the trachea onto the head. Is there anything conspicuously head-like we can see around here? Don't know what that lot is. Um, oh, tree of life. And can't see past these cliff walls. Okay. Chances with the beast. Leave you. Run away and save myself. Permit us this once, Lady Melia. It is our honor and our duty to protect you with our lives. Do not fear for us. Flee. I will not. I cannot return to the capital with this monster still standing. Were they just vaporized? Hardcore. Aizel, Hotlord, Garin, Damil! Bestow the light of your life unto me! The light of their lives. She didn't just vampirize them, did she? <sighs> Who turned up the heat? I've never seen such a dense forest. Me neither. How much further? 
This must be the back of the Bionis. If Shulk's vision is right, we've still got a long way to go. You mean go on in this heat? I'm sweatier than a brog's armpit. We'll have to search for the best route. Sadly, until we find a way, we'll have to put up with Rhine's stench. Charla? Hmm. Uncalled for. So we went into the bowels, through the lungs, out of the we trachea, the the tower. and ended up on its back. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Father! Must have had a blowhole. Weak, weak and pathetic. What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done. You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! A silver-faced Mechon. And who was that girl? These visions show me people and places I've never seen. If only I could find out what they mean. We could use them to our advantage. Look over there! A rope bridge. It looks Homs made. Not Homs. Nopon. Though a lot of them have settled in our colonies, the Nopon are originally native to Magna Forest. Do you think they'd know the way to the Bionis head? Uh, I can't say. But walking around in circles isn't going to achieve anything. Our best bet is to look for their village. The size of that sword of his. And he wields it with one hand. Guy must be like level one million. Yeah, we must have came out of the blowhole. I mean, he did live on an ocean planet, so it's possible. He's got some whale DNA. Okay. So they called the uh, the white mechon Nemesis Face, and the person inside it was Lady Something. But she talked about scarring and skull, skull, shulk, scarred um, metal face. So uh, was the the other lady, not Lady Melia, was she in metal face and then got transferred into the new Mechon? It's just, um, it's a puzzler at the moment. What the hell's that? Oh, it's carrying a stone. That is a giant caterpillar. I'm going to avoid that one. More nopon. Ugh. Quest givers as well. Which means I have to talk to them by the laws of the RPG. Have I got these requirements yet? No, don't even know who that is. guys so much. <laughs> if they're so fierce and hungry, how did you get out here in the first place? And again, he wants to give me gold, but zero XP. And that's going to be only the first of a huge list of, uh, of monsters he wants me to kill. Yep. If there were any freedom of action in this game, I would kill every nopon I see. Now this is a long bridge. Magna Ferris. It's not his day off. That's a new move. Halves current HP and fills talent gauge. I, I don't think halving my XP, uh, my HP rather, is going to be a smart move at the best of times. Maybe when something's about to do a special move, and if I don't have access to the Monado Arts 
someone will definitely die at that point, possibly. Thin blood. What's that? Oh, okay, it's over there. Physical protect. I thought I had a move to uh, to remove a buff from an enemy. Although maybe it's one of my um, colleagues. Oh, he put me to sleep. Oh, he woke me up. That is the first useful thing I've ever seen Ryan do. Oh my word. Velociraptor. Yeah, so we're just looking for food for them. That was one of the main quests from the other zone, is uh, just kill things so you can then feed a nopon. I would honestly rather feed the nopon to the creatures. Are you gonna are you gonna aggro on me if I try and sneak past you? Please don't, I'd rather not kill you. Like, if I have to, if I'm under-leveled for a boss fight, which probably will occur, I'll come back and kill them another time. For now, we'll try and progress the story. Oh, that's the other thing about the... Uh, what was his call? What was his name now? It's um, Zazaban or something like that. Every time you do a quest, you'd have to then go back to talk to him to pick up another quest. You couldn't pick up five at once. And every single time, the same bloody bird creature would attack you. There was no way to sneak past it. And frankly, I found it very annoying. So I got two heads. That thing had two heads. Freaky. A big one. Those brogs get bigger and bigger the further north you go. Such pretty scenery. Is this uh, is this a camp? Oh no, just a weird random location. Ah, uh -huh, it's there. the location of the fight. Hey, are you okay? You. Uh. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. Just trap the wind this time. time. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. Try not to upskirt her while you're I doing it. Clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay, I'll carry her. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms. Yeah, everybody like this knows before. that. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case. What can we do? We're gonna need water type ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, um, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water, too. 
so I fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. Is that really a good idea? What if he gets gobbled up by that giant prog? Just myself. Well, to be honest, kind of makes a change. Um, those yellow ones aren't water, those are electricity. Well, it's a good thing I've been levelling up my heal spell. Get the feeling I'm going to need it. Can I get up there? Um, no. No, I can't. I'm not going to waste any more time trying either. I'm pretty sure I have some ether uh, water crystals in my uh, in my inventory as well. So, <sighs> okay, this thing. I can probably solo them. I won't try. I'll just run away if they attack. My word, how far back are these crystals? It's getting dark as well. I'm getting a real horror film vibe here. Someone wanders off on their own to do some random errand. They don't come back. Oh, it's across the bridge, is it? Oh, my word. Is that the waterfall? It's like Niagara Falls. That is a serious waterfall. I hate you, Nopon. I hate you so much. I'm dreading getting a uh, Nopon party member. I'll just never use them. I mean, I actually don't mind the battle speech. I've, I've heard the battle speech is a bit annoying. People are like, you know, does he have to say bone up her every 15 seconds and oh, let's not lose our heads. I can handle that. I don't mind it so much, but I could not. Oh, bugger. I'm just going to keep running. Whoops. Oh, I was... <sighs> okay. He debuffed me. And I can't move. I don't even want to fight. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong sodding way. This isn't going well. Fuck it. I thought I was going to hit that rock. That was so much easier. the guy who had hello. the um, Teleria earlier. Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. And what are you then? I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. I've read my mind. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? I'm a dogger. Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? Oh. Oh. What are they? Alvis, get out of the way! I'll deal with this myself. 
myself. True hero. Not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but very heroic. From the left. Then I'll go. And they go all of his ribs. vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You... you know about my visions? How could you possibly... There because is he, uh, he shulks sun from the future, I'm guessing. Perception. No, Albert, stop! You don't know how to... He does. Huh? A new symbol? Got a very similar face shape. I suggest you stop staring and build. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself, you control it. the light of the Monada. I will stop them. Trying to remember which art's green now. Never mind. Purge. Hmm, I remember that from Smash Brothers. Seems to need a heal just yet. Oh. So I can't really do much once I've broken them. Shockwave on me. Only 368 damage though. I think I can take that. Oops. Um, okay, that's very annoying. Should I... Um, is it? Has it got its buff back? I think it might have its buff back. Please don't do that mid move. And that's only going to do 58 damage. Okay. I should probably just ignore it in that case. Can I, uh. Oh no, it won't let me. Oh, they're blocking me in. Okay, 
So, Monado, Steel. And just hit them with everything we can. Both focused on me. Kick him all out. Okay, just one left. Auto attacking, so I fill up the talent gauge, which I recently found out where that is. I thought there was a cooldown on, on the Monado, and that was what was refilling, but it's not. Okay, shockwave. I don't know what to do about that, frankly. I'm just going to run away. Kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Telethia tail. Well, these guys don't really do that much damage. I'm pretty sure that's um, that's deliberate. Because I'm on my own. The game designers don't want to just kill you. Which is nice of them. Importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely its spawn. That's no answer. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. By Melia. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence. Of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis, how do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? I majored in Monado studies, so Wesleyan. That's Ryan. I'm over here! Hope he doesn't get jealous. Shulk, we looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce <laughs> you. He's the one that... Alvis? Uh, and he's gone. But he was... Uh, he just crouched no behind that crystal. I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Of course he did, Shulk. You better sit down. No one else around. Maybe, uh... You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt a cup up. of tea. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Sharla. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alvis. Who are you? Ah, 
How did they not spot him? An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No. I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay. Locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. <laughs> what could go wrong? What's she aiming for? Do you really have to look down the site to shoot the air? Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! <laughs> hey, watch it! F forgive You're me. You're getting some too. I, I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. It's the most physical contact he's ever had from a woman. Me. Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into <laughs> contact with Mel Holmes. She touched me. Contact. Hey, Shulk, you're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you get here, then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Duly noted, your ladyship. Are they voiced by but the same if actor? I were to be so bold, Actress. I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, oh, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. Hmm. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. How does she keep her hair curled like that in the um, in the humidity of the jungle? That must be magic. Okay, spike abilities. Deal damage and inflict debuffs. Cannot be lessened by increasing. Well, that's a bit unfair, isn't it? Counter spike. Down spike. Oh, it'll spike you when it suffers topple. Oh dear. And close spike. Okay. 
so you have to purge them. Well, of course, if you get a new ability, then the monsters um, would evolve a response to that. Yeah, makes sense. Hmm. I wonder how you tell in advance that a, uh, a spike is a counter spike. The monsters do like hanging, on to, uh, hanging out on top of fallen trees in this location. That's about the tenth I've seen. Oh, what the hell are those? An X, a Magna X, did not answer my question. I've just realised the game swapped out um, Sharla for Dunban without me doing anything. I don't know how I feel about that. I could have just gone around, apparently. Lesson learned for next time. Does that change the mobs around here? Doesn't seem to have. Mm, I do like a mushroom. I think I might struggle to finish that, but I try. Oh, and here we are in the Nopon village. Can I burn it down? Horrible little sod. Oh my word, what's he? A Terra Orluga. Yeah, I bet he inspires Terra. Although, he's got some kind of barding on his arms. He's sentient, isn't he? He's wearing a loincloth. Yeah, there's kind of quite a few semi-sentient species on here, like the turkey things and the lizard things. And I don't know if the Nopon are really fully sentient, but that thing... Yeah, he's like a caveman. He's got a little friend there as well. Maybe they're like guard dogs for the Nopon. I mean, oh Jesus, they're huge. How else are the tiny little football Nopon going to survive in a hostile environment like this? It really, it has to be because they've got some, some backup. Oh, what's that? A mammoth. And it is pretty mammoth, yeah. Those are some big old spurs. It's got bone spurs like Trump. This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. You got it, genius. Welcome back, bird lady. God, I hate them. speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? How's he going to stop you? Just boot him. My pleasure. My pleasure. I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. So we're, we're on the wing now, if it has wings. Or the solar panels, I don't know. They know how humans taste. Nopon of Frontier Village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird Lady here. <laughs> Melia back. Bird Lady back. Bird Lady? Oh, that's so annoying. My, My 
word. It's good to see you again so soon. Well, at least he and speaks normally. So well. That's why they made him the chief. He's got and more than three brain cells. Men? They are at one with the Bionis. They sacrificed their lives so that I might escape. Yeah, she absorbed their energy. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a Hom Hom need of me? They require safe passage to Aerith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these Homs are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason any time soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her. I will possibly get their quests later. Um, no, that's the chief. Best not approach him. He might try and talk to me again. Shopping Street. Okay. Kind of want the Mechon to attack. Is that wrong of me? Am I a bad person? Answer in the comments. Just go the no, right way. No, I'm going the wrong way. Is it this way? What? Okay, I'm being blind. There are just too many nope on here. It's my nightmare. been able to view like 99% of the um, heart to hearts I've seen 90% of them I haven't even been able to see the characters involved oh, yeah. I'm just going to ignore that one based on that so did I miss something oh no just going up the outside now I will continue to put my trust in the faithful yellow dotted line. Yeah, here we go. Aha, uh -huh, that must be her. Cool. Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <laughs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. Wounded by a girl? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? How do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia? Who... who are you? The wielder of the Monado, bitch! Monado? So that sword can... To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia... The Telethia escaped from our homeland and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia... We can help you defeat it if you like. 
Out of pity? No. Why then? It's just... I... He's I a people pleaser. Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the knock-on chief to interpret for me. I... Oh. would like to help. Can't have that. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mechon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, then. Oh, yeah! In any case, the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight a face Mechon, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. Yeah, we'll write that on your tombstone. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. Their oh. offer sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk. And we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. No. Chief Dunga, I... Uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom Hom. Homs. You do know we listen. Say it, Homs. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and prepare him. Please excuse me. Guy's got serious quarantine here. Nopon hero. Now this I have to see. Don't be like that. Let's meet him first. Well, that's the final episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much for watching. I wish. I'm going to see it through to the bitter end. Like I never do. I always get bored and move on to something else. Oh, no. Now I have to go all the way down to the bottom. Is that what you're telling me? There must be a quicker way. this oh no, that's basement um oh okay may i introduce no you may not Hereupon ricky <sighs> Watch out! Get off me! To you! Spike him! Yes! A no pond chad. I introduce to you this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky. <laughs> ah. <laughs> New Hom Hom friends. Meet this year's legendary hero upon Ricky! Ricky, live to serve! Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. A hero upon, you say? Not sure where you'll come in handy, but the more the merrier. I'm sure you'll get hungry later. Are these two letters as strong as they sound? Yes. 
quick as lightning, I can read your mind. A mind reading giant bird? No problem. I could see their movement through the Monado. He's seen those Maybe before, like a dozen battle. times. And we're going up against the daddy version. No one blink for a second. Okay. Eyes wide open. And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Eret's sea. If anything happens to our guide, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target, but don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dumbbell's right. I am in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. No worries, Melia. Like that stick up your ass. Ricky has been informed of the Dino Beast. What you refer to as the Telethia. Be safe, my hum hum friend. Even their theme music is annoying. Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. Dino Beast is big and scary. Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's friend, right? Hum hum clever. Friends meet Ricky when ready. Then, friends and Ricky leave together. Big attitude for a furry footrest. Dino Beast is big and scary. Great. That'll come in handy. Is it just me, or did we suddenly become Nopon mercenaries? We have been for about two hours, as far as I can recall. What? And we don't even have to collect it from another location. He just wants us just to run and get it from here. Well, <clears throat> I was kind of joking earlier, but I really am going to end the episode here. And frankly, if he's in every cutscene from now on, I'm probably going to end the series. And demand a refund from Nintendo. And probably write a very long blog post in which I detail how he completely ruins the game and request a mod to erase him from it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I haven't soured you on the video too much. And yeah, see you again, maybe.